Travis Kulse arrived in Sydney ahead of Taylor Swift's Eras Tour concerts, which began on February 23 at the Acker Stadium. But would the NFL star accompany the superstar to Singapore as well? Riding high after his team, the Kansas City Chiefs defeated the San Francisco 49ers in the Super Bowl. The 34-year-old tied and appears to be enjoying his time as a supportive boyfriend by taking a private aircraft across the world to see her. Many sources even imply that he will accompany Taylor for the remainder of her Asia and Europe trip. The pop artist is already in Singapore, having arrived aboard a Bombardier Global Express plane on February 27 and is staying at Capella Singapore. So, what are the plans for this globetrotting couple? Travis and Taylor's PDA filled Ted a Ted in Las Vegas following the Kansas City Chiefs Super Bowl victory was broadcast across the world. However, Taylor's presence did not come easily. With a gig in Tokyo the night before, the Grammy winner boarded her aircraft just in time for the game. While Swifties questioned whether she'd make it, Taylor said goodbye to jet lag and hello to being the most supportive girlfriend. Of course, having your own jet on standby can assist. Travis Kulse's father, Ed Kulse, told People about his view of Swift following the Super Bowl win. The NFL star's father revealed that he has gotten close to Taylor Swift's father, Scott Swift, and that the two bonded over their love of the NFL. Scott had played college football, so he was immediately into it. I think he likes that his daughter is dating a football player rather than a musician, Ed said. He praised Swift for being probably the most famous person in the world, but also for being so warm and gracious in every meeting and game. She is a huge football fan, and she leads by example during games. I was so amazed that during the Super Bowl, my mates and I left some rubbish near us, and when Taylor got up, she stopped and picked everything up and put it following the celebrations, which included TNT partying with the Kells' parents, Taylor was going to perform in Melbourne, Australia. Travis took a break from the show and decided to stay in Las Vegas. Shortly after, the footballer was seen playing golf at the Win Las Vegas as part of a celebrity exhibition match. Kelsey's post-Super Bowl schedule includes more than just golf. He will also serve as executive producer for the film My Dead Friend Zoe, according to reports. The film's summary nicely matches Kelsey's comedy interests, describing it as a darkly humorous drama centered on a U.S. Army veteran her deceased best friend, whom she finds difficult to let go of, and her distant grandfather. Ed Harris, Senequa Martin-Green, and Natalie Morales not only headline the cast, but also act as executive producers, alongside Kels. The film will have its debut at the South by Southwest Film Festival in Austin, Texas, in March. Ed Kels had earlier stated to People that he spoke with Travis following the Super Bowl, and the latter showed an interest in joining Taylor for her gigs in Australia and